So some of you may know me, my name is Donna Heitmanick and um, back in August of 2019 I started a Facebook group called Science of Reading, What I Should Have Learned in College. I had no idea what a Facebook group was, I had never done one before, I had my own account but I had no idea what it was but my um, passion about spreading the word about the science of reading uh, is, is unbelievable. I want to really get that message out. So um, lo and behold, so we started in August of 2019 and today it's June 26th I think, nope it's 27th and today we reached 35,000 members which is just unbelievable which tells me that the need is there. So um, what I wanted to do today is to put a YouTube video together so maybe we can reach more members and the the group is going to be called SOR for Science of Reading What I Should Have Learned in College. So there's a little story behind my story and I wanted to share this out because um, I think it's indicative of what other people are experiencing in in this day and age. So. Uh, back in 1976, yes, I am old, I graduated from college and I got a job in January of 77 um, at a non-categorical special education classroom. And I walked into my classroom and it was set up, I had to set it up, it was in a, um, a trailer, because that's the only room they had for me. And I, I'm looking around my new classroom that only has a few materials in them and I'm like, how am I going to teach these kids to read? I, I, I had just graduated from college and yet I didn't have an understanding of what, what that was all about. So, you know, what does anyone else do that's in trouble? You know, your, your, first, um, you, you, your first instinct is call your mom, which I did, and I, you know, called her and asked her, I said, so how do you teach kids to read? And she said, well, you start with the letters and sounds. So I did. Um, fortunately, the folks that hired me had purchased some materials, one of which was, I think they were called letter people, they were little blow up characters and, and it was A for Achu and B for, I don't remember, and um, anyway, so these little characters I had, so we kind of were on the right track, but you know, getting kids to read was a daunting task because I, I didn't feel like I had the expertise. So 10 years later, still kind of searching for the right answer, I stumbled upon a class called uh, Project Read out of Minnesota. It still exists. And that's where I learned how to do an Orton Gillingham structured literacy lesson. And it really was career changing for me. And I'm hoping that the science of reading um, in the year 2020 will be career changing for you. So, which brings me to how we're going to get this message across to any, any teacher or spe uh, speech and language therapist or anyone who's interested in learning this or a parent. So, um, what I created was a, um, a website. First of all, it's Science of Reading, What I Should Have Learned in College. Okay, so one of the resources that we have available for you is called the scienceofreadinginfo.com. So, I want you to go to that site. And once you get there, you're going to see some tabs. It's home, for beginners, topics one, topics two, all the way up to four, and then contact us. But we're going to go back. We're just going to talk today about uh, the beginners. So I want you to go to um, Next Steps, and you click on Next Steps, and you're going to see some, some uh, paragraphs here that talk about the science of reading, what it is, definitions of it, and then we have a tab called here. Here are some suggested resources and paths to follow to help you understand and implement the science of reading in your classrooms no matter which grade you teach. So we're going to click on there. Alright, so we get to the next page and it's, it's professional de development through webinars and training. The very first one is called Reading Rockets Reading 101. It was developed by Dr. Louisa Motes who is really, I would say, like a, the matriarch of the science of reading. And this, um, this training is free, don't we, we love free, and it's called Reading 101, A Guide to Teaching Reading and Writing. It includes nine modules on reading, writing, and assessment. And so the modules are print awareness, phonological and phonemic awareness, phonics, 
fluency, vocabulary, spelling, comprehension, writing, and assessment. So you can see it's pretty comprehensive. And it will get you a, a general idea, give you a general idea of what the science of reading encompasses and what that might look like in your classroom. Um, it's accredited by the International Dyslexia Association and that is an organization that not only deals with dyslexia but it is for all learners and um, this course is based on the knowledge and practice standards of teachers of reading so it's pretty comprehensive and it's free and don't we love free okay so then I'm gonna go back and then the next one is the Zaner Bloser science of reading webinar series it's three half hours um, what do you call them, webinars that talk about the why, what, and how. And I really, really like these. I think they're to the point to, the, to talk about what science of reading is, and uh, I'd like you to take a peek at those. The next one is the Reading Teacher's Top Ten Tools by Dr. Glazer. Now, Dr. Glazer is another, I would say, you know, matriarch in our, um, in our science of reading uh, training. She was a letters trainer. Dr. Motes actually... Um, started the letters training but Dr. Glazer was a letters trainer and she put together a course that's super inexpensive it's only twenty five dollars a month um, and you can complete this in in two months I would say you could probably complete it in one month um, and right now this is June of 2020 we we have a cohort going and we have actually two over 200 people taking this course together so it's been kind of fun um, and the tools will again help you design your classroom and provide you with um, an understanding of what that should look like within your classroom. The next one is Carol Toman's Hourglass. Carol is another letters trainer. We have all the experts in the field here. And they and this talks about the reading theory and helps you understand how language, phonemes, graphemes work in the process of learning to read and spell. I really, really like this. It's only a half hour presentation. Really Great Reading is a site that offers free diagnostic testing material as well as professional webinars to help you understand what the science of reading is. And it also has some really good products that you can purchase to help you um, in your classroom. Bookworms webinar series with Sharon Walpole is a free nine-week video series. Again, how to teach reading using evidence-based strategies. That's what the science of reading is all about. And, um, and who doesn't like free? So the next one is professional development through reading. Uh, Equipped for Reading Success by Dr. David Kilpatrick is really a seminal book on um, how we, how we need to incorporate phonemic awareness and phonological uh, awareness into our, in our uh, teaching of reading. So uh, it's really important that you go through this carefully, this book. There is a book study on Facebook called um, Equip for Reading Success Book Study. Uh, the information is up and running. You can just access that yourself. You can start your own cohort if you want. Um, if you don't have access to the book, go to his site and you'll find a link to get that. Also, you can find that at, um, oh, who else has it? Oh, Reading League has it on their site under the tab shop. So I know lots of you are from out of the country and are having trouble accessing that book. Um, we're trying to get an electronic version for you, but who knows if that's going to happen. Hello, my dear. Okay, so... Um, we also have, uh, there is a free um, link that Dr. Kilpatrick put on the webinar. It's chapters 2, 4, 11 in the past test. It'll kind of give you a sense of where to start and what to do, but you really should have the whole book. Um, there's also a couple other sites on structured literacy, structured literacy, one on Orton Gillingham lesson, what that looks like. Um, and you know the sites here are just so wonderful because they will help you get started in your classroom under classroom suggestions and routines we have the 90 minute reading block that's another site that um, is on uh, reading rockets we have a structured intervention lesson what that looks like we have steps lessons again uh, Dr. Glazer and Dr. Susan Smart wrote this and the last one is Dr. Anita Archer explicit instruction um, her 
her um, approach is all about doing everything explicitly. There's no guessing. Kids are taught directly. And she, she does a really nice job, and so that would be something worth checking out. On the bottom, we have, uh, it's called the Kastner Collection, and this is put out by Dr. Pam Kastner, and what she uses is Padlets. So if you've never seen a Padlet before, it's a collection of webinars or sites you can go to, all in this cutely organized uh, with visuals. You just click on the visual, and then it takes you to that site. So it's really well done. It's under, it's, it's categorized in topics. Um, really a nice uh, resource for you to have. So this site um, is going to be changing. It's always going to be growing because on rainy days, this is what we do. We, we update this. And um, so I invite you to come to this site. Um, we're here to help you grow on your journey in the science of reading. Uh, we are 35,000 strong now on our page, and it's just getting better every day. So I'm pretty excited about this, um, and I welcome any comments you have or any questions you have. Always go to the Science of Reading, What I Should Have Learned in College site, and we will help you through that. Have a wonderful day. Keep learning. Bye.